Do you remember first ever match ball when yeah. I got into under 12s? 12, so I know, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And look where you progressed since then. That one. That was my first ever fifer, do you remember? Yeah. Grandad was nearly crying watching it. <laughs> so were you, I think. I'm Rhiannon Knowing Davies and I am a cricketer for Blaze Regional Academy and Nottinghamshire. I didn't really watch a lot of cricket when I was younger. I just kind of just got excited to play, I used to beg my mum and dad to go to the park with me, take the bat and ball, just practice on the field. And then it wasn't until I got really into it I started watching a lot more and getting quite obsessed and knowing all the players. Um, yeah, and that's just kind of what started it off. This one, remember out in Warwickshire when the lady, oh, yeah. the professional photographer came out? She took that one and she took that one of your bowl in there. Yeah. 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 How many wickets did you get that day? I think I've got a couple. Well, I'm so proud of her. You know, she's gone into a, a male dominated sport, really. You know, out there with grown men getting bowled at or bowling at them. And, you know, she, she's so brave to do it. I, I just couldn't do it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just proud of every moment, really. I look at every photograph I've taken or, you know, and we look back on results and where she's got to. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm just very, very proud of her. Playing against boys was an obstacle. I think there was always that preconception, oh, she's no good, she's a girl. But I managed to, like, hold myself and you know, I didn't let that phase me and I just wanted to go out there and prove everyone wrong and that's what I did from a young age. There's been quite a lot of career achievements, I think definitely getting into the regional academy, that, that was unbelievable. I think I opened the email and just burst into tears, I was not expecting it at such a young age. But you know, I was playing with 20, 21 year olds and I was only 14 when I got in so another big highlight was getting to asked to play in the 100 friendly for Trent Rockets. That again was just overwhelming, unbelievable experience, something I'll definitely never forget. 11, two. We do conditioning to start off the day, um, and then we go into rotation, so she'll have an hour um, bowling in the net. She'll then come in um, to the gym and do an hour training in here with me where she's lifting weights and that can be that typically sits as a whole body exercise as well so she covers kind of all the key recites that come along with cricket and um, we're looking to just train her for the demands of training um, but then obviously the competition out in the field and what the demands of, of cricket now with with the game becoming ever more phys physical um, it's really progressing the game so we've got to keep matching that at the intensity of which we're training. Rhiannon's incredibly fiery as a character and you know she's got an inner, inner purpose and an inner drive and I think you see that when when she turns up she doesn't do things by halves and I think that's kind of testament to, to her her character and you know I think a lot of that comes from mum, um, from knowing mum uh, semi well. She's a pretty fiery um, purposeful character as well so I think there's a lot that kind of has run through her and definitely you see a lot of those characteristics. I think that's probably a really important part that coaches have given me which I think is sometimes overlooked that a coach is just oh this is how you improve your bowling action or this is how you improve your batting whereas you know cricket is quite very psychological as well so supporting me from that side of things has probably been a big turning point. Sports Hope Fund has been unbelievable like obviously getting nominated for that with, you know, it made me really proud and happy of where I've come. The support and just knowing that there's someone there to back me is just giving me so much confidence and I'm really grateful for that opportunity, it's really helped.